everyone. It's Miss Karen. We are finishing up the letter J and we're going to make something that looks kind of pretty cool. And I saw the picture. We're going to make a jellyfish. And there again, you guys, you've seen some of my crafts. I try to work with something that we all probably have at home. If we don't have it, the you know, neighbor has something. But to make our jellyfish, we need our scissors. We need a hole punch or a way to make some holes. And you'll see how. This is just an easy way. There's other ways to make some little holes. We're going to need some yarn. And here again, my old tried and true. Need the paper plate. And you could use some paint. You know what? I think we'll use, we'll, we will use some paint. I just happen to have some right here. We can do this. And I have some blue. Let's see, I got my daughter's dryer all down there, so we are good to go. So I just got some like these little mini uh, washable, you know, just little temper paints, okay? So what's eventually going to happen to this is we're going to cut it in half. But I don't want to make too huge of a mess, so I'm going to put down something underneath to color with. Okay, that way I don't have to worry about making any more of a mess on the table than what's already here because my daughter is a pretty messy painter. So I'm going to take my paint. Just got a little brush. You can do this with crayons. Perfectly fine. You know, it's been a while since I used the paints. I think I made an elephant with the paints uh, when we were working on letter E sometime, uh, I don't know, a while back ago. We're up to J now. and Well, that was E. That was a long time ago. Okay, so I'm just kind of like smearing it on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you can use crayons, you can use color pencils. Um, most of your parents, you know, I'm probably figuring you probably have some paints, maybe the kind you got to dip the brush in the water and mix around. Um, those would be perfectly fine to use on this too. Okay, it would be great. Now, I gotta admit though, for this, this is just a plain paper plate. We don't want to use those waxed kind of paper plates. I mean, I guess you could turn it over and paint on the other side where it doesn't have that waxy coating on it. And that waxy coating is, hello spider. No spiders allowed. Um, we're not up to S's yet, spider. Um, you can turn it over. And, and paint on the other side that doesn't have the waxy coating because that waxy coating is to, you know, keep the food from soaking through. These are just, you know, El Cheapo, like, dollar store paper plates. Um, they work great, though, for a multitude of things other than holding your food. Uh, which, with these ones, you'd probably have to use two or three plates. I've got some fancy little plate holders that work great with these. But... So great with all these crafts. So many crafts we do. Okay, I said we didn't have to do all the way down. But you got to go about halfway. Because we're going to cut this about in half. And I'm going to just see if I can't kind of smear the rest of this paint that's all over my brush. And I wasn't totally prepared. I don't have water here to kind of empty my brush. But I do have a little piece of fabric that I can use to just kind of wipe the corner off with. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush here because I didn't have water. So I just kind of wipe it off the best I can. And I'll go back and uh, clean it in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to put my lid back on my paint because I don't want to spill it. Okay, now this has to dry. That's the only bad side of doing this, so we can maybe fan it here. Um, hang on, daughter's got her fan. We have this great little fan. That's a looks pretty good for drying things off. Yeah, sorry, makes a little noise. If we can't get this dried here real quick. So we're making a jellyfish. Where where would we find a jellyfish? I mean, we can keep a goldfish in a fish tank, you know, in our house, but do we normally see, like, jellyfishes? 
You in a, in a tank in our house? Uh, no. Um, jellyfishes are hard to keep as, you know, like a pet, like a goldfish. Jellyfishes are, you're only going to see them in the ocean or maybe if you go to like an aquarium where they have the special zoos and stuff. The special collections for animals. Aquatic animals. I can tell this is still wet, but I'm going to roll with it. Um, we're going to just let this set here. Let it dry a little more. Um, we're going to come back to our yarn. Okay, and our scissors. What we're going to need with our yarn... Go away, piece. And I don't know how long these are. They're, they're about this long. So, what, maybe 8, 9 inches long? Okay, and you want to double them over. Okay, so I looped it up here. I want to double that over. Okay, so here's one long piece, and it's kind of long, but I've doubled it. Okay, so you know, eight, nine inches. Okay, we're going to need, meh, I'd say probably about 15 of these. I've got different colors here. They can be a little bit different lengths. They don't have to all be exact. Matter of fact, they shouldn't be. Because not all jellyfish tentacles are the same length, now are they? Well, you guys wouldn't know yet, but, whoops, trust me, they're not all the same length. So we can have some long ones and some short ones, and you'll see why in a minute. So there's three, and I've got three different colors here. You can make them all the same color. Four, you can make them different colors. Oops. Okay, so I got some red. Ah, go away. So same thing, just kind of loop it over. Start some, you know, about eight, nine inches long. And I'm just gonna make five. I got three colors. I'm gonna make five of each. I might use all five. I might not. I might need a couple more. I might get lost where I'm counting. Might not make enough holes when we get to that point. So there's three. Four. Oops. Five. I think that's five. Okay, and I've got some gray. And there again, just kind of looping it over. You know, cutting about eight, nine inches. Might have some that's maybe seven inches, some that are more like nine inches, ten inches. It's all good. So that's two. You guys helping me count? And there's three. You can almost just follow along and make this with me. You know, parents can watch it once or, you know, who's ever with you can watch it. Go quick gather supplies and come back watch it again. Especially if you're using a crayon because then you don't have to wait here for it to dry. Oh, and I see a blob spot. Ugh, me bad. Now is that four or five? I think that's close. See a little blobby spot. I want to get that off. I'm just kind of going to blob some of these areas. I mean, it's it's trying to dry. Okay, so I'm just going to be careful here as I cut. So I'm going to cut it in half. Roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Just kind of ballparking it. Yeah, didn't get too blue. And then now what you need to do, as I said, we've cut about 15 of those little guys. We're going to take our hole punch and we're going to make some holes on the bottom here. So there's one. Come on, move over. My finger's really going to get blue. 12. Yeah, maybe one more on the end. 13. Let me clean my little, my hole puncher up right quick. Try to. I have to take it to the sink. I get it clean. 
That's the great thing with temper paints. It comes off pretty easy. Okay, so now we got our hole punches. So now what we're going to do is we take our doubled over yarn. Okay, so kind of halfway even up the bottoms down here. And we're going to see the loop. We're going to put it in the loop, in the hole. And then make the little loop. We're going to grab the other end. And just pull it down like so. So I'm going to alternate colors on these. Because they have three colors. Like I said, you could use all one color yarn. You don't have to use these colors of yarn. You use what you got. I mean, these aren't, you know, don't require any special trips to the store to get supplies. And that's, you know, what I tried to think about because I mean, we're all kind of, you know, supposed to be staying home still. Although they're talking about, you know, maybe kind of letting a few things open up. But, uh, you know, I'm not supposed to be making any unnecessary trips. You know, I, I would consider this an unnecessary trip just to get, you know, a paper plate or a little bit of yarn. Um, you know, this might be, you know, if the off chance you do not have a paper plate at home. Or your neighbor doesn't have one that they could, uh, you know, let you use. You know, you just uh, might have to just find another craft. You could probably do this with some paper too. Maybe take uh, three or four sheets of paper and your glue stick and glue those sheets of paper together and let them dry and then you could go back and just kind of you know make a circle grab your a, a pie plate or something out of you know the kitchen and just kind of take your pencil lay it on the paper and just kind of trace around that plate for your shape and you could do it with paper that way you just got like I said you'd have to glue three four sheets of paper together and let it dry and then you could go all about you know the same process if for some reason you know you didn't have a paper plate at home you know everybody you know a little bit different in our household stuff but almost everyone I try to pick these crafts so that there are supplies that you know almost everybody has at home if not you know a neighbor probably easily has one and be more than happy to give you a paper plate just so you can have a little fun craft time with the kiddos. Okay, so you see this takes a little bit of time, not too long. And this is something that yeah, any three, four year old could, could easily do. Might need a little help with the hole punch. Um, who's ever helping you might have to make some little dots on the bottom so that the kids have an idea where to line the hole punch up. Um, if you don't have a hole punch, you could... Um, Use a little pair of pointy scissors. This is where grown-up would have to help. Take the little pointy scissors, um, or maybe you know, like a sis kebab skewer, and poke the little hole in that way. I mean, there's ways to make holes. Grown-ups can figure it out for you. They can do that part for you. Okay, so there. Now we could go a little bit further. Um, let me see. Do I have. You know, this is too wet to do. We could give them some eyes, but jellyfishes really don't have eyes. But you could go back and just make some little eyes if you wanted to. But, I mean, this this is our jellyfish. Okay, so letter J. And look, I can hang them up later. So little J for jellyfish. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty cool. And I like the red in this. Because it kind of, you know, because some of the tentacles on jellyfishes are different colors. This was just a happy little accident. I didn't really plan for this to those colors to work so well together, and I think it worked out really good. So, all right. So, paper plate, little little bits of yarn, a hole punch. Um, you can use crayons. You can use the little paint and water things. You can use the the temper little temper paints that are great. You can use color pencils, whatever. Uh, like I said, if you don't have a paper plate, maybe take a glue stick and three or four pieces of paper, glue them together, and then you can, you know, go on with this little process. So this is our jellyfish. J is for jellyfish. All right, I hope you guys had fun making that.